you are watching Big Bunker Boy News. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome to uh, Big Bunker Boy News episode 9. I'm pretty sure because uh, I'm pretty sure that the last one was the 8th episode. So this is basically part 2 to that episode because uh, originally um, the, inf the news in this video along with the news in that video were supposed to be all in one video but I um, I um, I didn't shut up basically so uh, I, I kept on rambling on over and over again and um, I think the video is about over 30 minutes long so uh, yeah I was just like you know let's just save the other stuff for later. So, uh, yeah, like, there's that, um, so, I found some things out, and, um, I also want to check out something, so, um, we, um, we might be going, we, we might be going to St. Louis here soon, because I've been wanting to go there, um, for a while, again, because I haven't been there since, like, three or four months, so I think it's about time to go back, so, uh, you know, like, uh, We'll finally have a six St. Louis arc. This is what I've been waiting for. Now, um, um, there is one thing that there's there's one thing that my sister wanted to go to. She wants to go to a, a skating ring, um, and well, at least an ice skating ring. I'm pretty sure. And uh, my dad found one in St. Louis. So uh, yeah, like um. I never looked it up for some reason, so let's let's do it now. Let's see what part of St. Louis that skating ring is in. Okay, so um, doesn't seem to be that. Come on, like there, that's better. Hmm, it's close to it's close to the um the park um the zoo. I think that's what it's called. Um, oh wow, uh, that's. It's closer than I thought, like, closer to downtown than I thought, like, uh, is there any towers around here? Like, I'm pretty sure, um, there's no very interesting towers around this area, other than, like, the tall TV towers, and maybe the FM tower, if you're able to see it from here. Um, can't see anything, so, uh, yeah, like, you know, let's, yeah, let's just wait, you know. So maybe next weekend. I I hope next weekend. Uh, we'll hopefully go to uh, this place, and we'll we'll um we'll have another St. Louis arc because I've been wanting another St. Louis arc. Maybe I can convince my parents into taking me to the St. Louis Concrete Long Lines Tower. Maybe, or maybe um should I save that for like um. And for when I go to downtown St. Louis, like here in a couple months, or or should I just you know film it in this upcoming uh, six arc? Um, you guys vote in the comment section. So uh, yeah, like um, you know it would be nice to um, film it in the in the the next arc, you know. But um, I think saving the big big stuff for. The, the St. Louis, the, the downtown St. Louis arc would be better, kind of, because uh, it's it's like the St. Louis, the, the, the downtown St. Louis arc of the future is going to be like um, the, the final chapter to the, um, the final chapter to the St. Louis arcs that led up to all of this, you know. I even kind of made up a, a villain, like, Believe it or not, I actually have a tower fantasy world, like, uh, where towers are actually alive and stuff, like, um, for some reason. I actually made the, um, the red and, you know, the red and white, um, lattice red radio tower, that big one that I, that I've been talking about for quite a while during the first and second St. Louis arc. I, I decided to make that one the villain of this entire craft for some reason, like, probably because, um, Throughout the the first St. Louis arc, that was supposed to be the final tower of that arc, and uh, I I I missed my chance. Well, I mean, I miss I, I messed up and I never got to film the tower, so I had to uh, wait for a little sequel, you know. So um, next time we go down to St. Louis, basically. So yeah, like um, 
kind of created a storyline out of that, like uh, all the St. Louis arcs and crap connect and all that crap. Like, uh, yeah, it's whatever, I guess. And it's kind of awkward too, but that's just how, that's just how it is, you know. So yeah, like I think um, the downtown St. Louis arc will be a great little ending to um, the previous St. Louis arcs. Say the St. Louis arcs after the downtown St. Louis arc would would uh, be different, you know. I got uh, I got off track there, you know. Like uh, I was supposed to go on that long about that, you know. Like so um. I got updates about the the news from the other video. So um there. Um the um, the 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 dead long lines tower that stood next to the second Missouri concrete long lines tower down in downtown Kansas City. Um I I finally know the beacon. If I can uh, you know find it, find it again, you know. There it is. You know, I don't even know what I was expecting. Like, I have, I, I have pictures of the tower. Let's just um, roll with that instead of this crap. So, um, I, I finally know the beacon of this tower now. H.G. Jackson told me um, after, um, after uh, the video uploaded, the the video, um, the last big Bunker Boy news video. Like, I now just realize how cringy of a news name that is. I posted the I posted a picture of the tower on Discord, um, hoping hoping to uh, to you know lure in AJ Jackson and he'll um, tell me the beacon setup of this tower. Well, I mean the beacon since uh, you know like um, only has one beacon. You know, every time I show a picture, uh, well, I mean most of the times I show a picture of a long lines tower, AJ Jackson immediately knows the beacon of it. And including this one, the which has been dead for um, it's been dead since like the early, early, early two thousands. Because in two thousand seven Street View, this tower didn't even exist anymore. AJ Jackson told me he uh, DM'd me um, the beacon of this tower. And I was a little confused because I I didn't see any DM when I got up that morning. Like um, I always read Discord messages every morning. And I didn't see a single DM from AJ Jackson, you know, like nothing and stuff. It wasn't until like um, I checked his DMs out, like in, later in the day, and that's when I found out. Um, that's when I found out the beacon setup of this. I mean, beacon that this tower had. So um, this um, this is a this was a shocker to me, but this actually used to have a modern incandescent. If you guys remember, um, well, if you guys don't remember, I, um, I was talking, I was talking about how, um, it would have been, it would have been nice if Missouri had a long lines tower with a modern incandescent because, uh, for some reason, out of all the beacons, modern incandescents are actually very rare, f um, for long line towers. Like, um, I don't remember how many, um, I don't know how many long line towers are out there that have modern incandescence, but I'm pretty sure there's like 16 or something below that, maybe. I don't know. I had to ask AJ Jackson again. But um, yeah, like I only known three for for quite a while. And then AJ Jackson told me that there is so much more. And I, I believe this here is one of, the, one of them that he was talking about. So yeah, it was pretty nice how um, um, I discovered, well, um, should have known I, I, I this tower is a reminder of how stupid or how slow my realization is that's why I meant to say like I known this tower um, for a while on Google Maps and I noticed it was it's on top of an AT&T building the tower is concrete made out of concrete and stuff or maybe bricks, I don't know. I'm going to consider it a concrete long lines tower because that's what, you know, I, I, you know, we only got two concrete long line towers in Missouri. Don't take one, to the, don't take, don't take this one away from me, please. So yeah, I know it. And I also, I, I also know the big possibility that this used to be mm -hmm. a long lines tower. Oh, my grandma. Deers for life. So, um, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, mm, 
I, I had forgot where I left off, but I just, meh. Um, so, I know the big possibility of this being a former Longlines Tower, but, but still, like, the fact that it was, like, a stone something, you know, like, um, I don't know how that didn't how that didn't go off in my mind that this was the second stoneish concrete long lines tower in Missouri, and all that stuff, like seriously. And then it wasn't until the the late the it wasn't until um big bunk the big bunker boy news episode eight um, or seven I forgot like. It wasn't until the last episode of Big Bunger Boy News that I actually realized that this is the second concrete long lines tower. So, uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, I, I, I'm very slow at that stuff. I, I must be, at least. And then we also have some honorable mentions. Well, at least one. We, we only have one honorable mention I can really... No, actually two. Um, I already looked at one yesterday, like that one concrete long lines tower that's just right outside of Missouri. Yeah, that's an honorable mention. Like, it might be close to Missouri, but it's not in Missouri, so it doesn't count as one of our concrete long line towers. And then there's another, believe it or not, there's actually a building down in uh, downtown St. Louis that actually had horns back then. So we're going to be taking a look at that in another video. I want to make a separate video all about that tower. I mean, building. It's a not. It's not a tower. Okay, so uh, no, no, we didn't get through everything yet. All right, so uh, let's look at our last thing. Not too long after um, the the latest what the the last video of Big Bunker Boy news was uploaded, I actually found these pictures of this one lot lines tower on this building here. So. uh Remember how I said it had markers? Well, um, here's proof. Well, kinda. Like, uh, a little bit, since, um, you're able to see two, but the top one, it's not, um, you guys might think that it might be a beacon, but I do know it's, it's just markers and stuff. There's a video of it, so, uh, maybe I can dig that out, or, uh, maybe make you all search for it, because <laughs> I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> you know how the internet rolls here, like, um, Thanks, uh, thanks, um, videos of, well, thanks, um, that I need for stuff will always be there when I don't need them. And then when I actually need them for videos like this, they just disappear, you know, like, just whatever. So, uh, I, you know, that's how things work here, so I'm just not even going to bother. So, yeah, there, there's the markers and stuff. Had some, uh, had, um, had a pair of markers on top and two on the side. Doesn't appear to have any um any on the other side, you know. Then the the smaller one next to it didn't have any sadly. And here's an old picture of both towers with their horns on them. So uh, yeah, like looks like this one had like three horns I can see of, and the other one literally only just held one. Here's another picture of the towers. Again, like uh there's the 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 bigger towers new microwaves. And then here, here they are again. So uh, this here, um, unlike the other picture, you're able to to actually see them. You're actually able to fully see them. That's what I meant to say. Here's a picture of one of the markers. Well, one of the pairs, one of the marker pairs, because that's not just one marker. That's actually two. But they're not separate, so I guess they're to just be one. I guess. You're also able to see smokestacks in the in in the background. I I hope I filmed those when I went through here. Sadly, there's nothing on top. Like for some reason, like just every picture I've seen of this tower. Well, at least every high quality picture I've seen of the uh, of both of these towers. Um, they never wanted to actually show the top. They never wanted to show the actual markers on the top. So. That's why I had a very hard time just to, just finding out what the what this what this tower had like what lighting system it had and stuff because you know like there no no high quality picture wants to show the top but at least I got this and like at least the video that I watched uh, of this tower that had this tower in it basically at least that confirmed that it only has markers I fear for my for my life right now like. Any minute, my um, my culinary arts teacher 
we'll um, we'll post uh, weekend plan week week school week plans. And uh, since we since we did embed in English, um, some we did embed in English not this week or I mean not last week but the week after, and yeah, like we had, we did that, and then the 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 week um, after that. Um, we di we didn't do anything embedded, you know, so that means that this week we we're going to have embedded stuff, and it's not going to be English. It's going to be the world's worst culinary arts assignment. Embedded math, you know what that is. Well, hope I mean you guys don't, but um, yeah, I can tell you. We have to do geometry, giant packet full of geometry. All about recipes and stuff like, you know, just, you know, that, you know, it's kind of scares me. Like, um, everybody around me in the class tends to get it done be halfway before, half, halfway through the class period. But me, <laughs> uh, takes me weeks. Well, I mean, like most of a week to get one done. This is why I hate them. I hate math. I hate geometry. I'm really just bad at math and stuff, you know. Okay, so let's get to the the um, let's get to the big cheese of this video. Hi, kids. So you still wishing for the the? Um... Okay, no, I screwed that one up. Hi, kids. Are you still looking forward to the Nashville Arc? Well, I have good news and bad news. Let's start off with the bad news. This, the, the Nashville arc is still not set in stone. It's, well, you know, kind of, but whatever. It's just, um, we still have no idea when we're going to go. Um, if we ever go, it will be uh, quite a while from now, I would imagine. And now, on to the good news. To keep you, to, um, um, to, um, to entertain you until that arc uh, eventually comes, I and I uh, I bring you the Nevada arc, the fifth big arc. So um yeah like uh this is the this is uh the Nevada arc. This might be the fifth big arc, maybe. Though um I will tell you now. Disclaimer. No, wait, no. Um, I did that wrong. I did that in wrong order. I'll tell you now, just in case my dad uh, watches the video and and uh, kind of gets on to me for uh, telling you uh, something, well, making you um, but making you expect something that's not even set set in stone yet. Um, I'm going to give you a little disclaimer. This is obviously not set in stone yet. So there, so we, we might not go to Nevada. Um, I just had to uh, get that out, uh, just in case my dad uh, watches this video and um, and get kind of gets on to me for uh, you know getting you all hyped up for something that's not even set in stone. So yeah, like um, I know I know how it feels. I have a feeling that he's he's already going to get on to me for even pointing it out. <laughs> uh, you know, that's something. So if we are going to have a Nevada arc, it's because of another another BTS concert. That's the reason why BTS is going to perform down in Las Vegas in April. I'm pretty sure. Wait a second. Shouldn't this be like the sixth big arc? Because in March we're supposed to have another big arc coming. Um, so it, um, this is obviously wrong. Um, let, let's change that to um, the um, the six, the sixth big arc. So uh, you know, like uh, I hope the Florida arc is going to be the sixth big. I mean, the floor, the second Florida arc is going to be the sixth big arc. You know. So um, yeah, like um. Not sure if my parents uh, are going to buy tickets tickets for this, um, but they might. My mom and my my mom and sister are diehard fans of BTS. 
my dad is a bts fan too but i wouldn't really say he's that die hard like my mom and sister <laughs> i would imagine my my mom trying to buy tickets at all costs before they sell out um so there might be some factors that you know might um might not let this arc happen and uh you know like uh, i think the biggest the biggest factor is money because you know like get buying tickets to go to uh, uh, uh buying tickets uh, to see a famous band like the most famous boy band right now um that that's uh, very expensive it's just like american healthcare i would i would imagine and we're we, me, my entire family is going too so four tickets so i um, you know like um that's uh, that's a problem now here's another problem it, um the BTS fandom, um, which is um, called, which is uh, ha has an official name, it's actually called the Army. Um, um, the Army is um, is just hella crazy for BTS. So, um, like, since there's like Army around the world, around the world, around the, you know, like you know, what I mean, like, since they're around the world, like, uh, um, once they would find out about. The, the concert or just any concert in America or just anywhere in general like they'll they'll buy tickets to they'll they'll try to buy tickets to um, as fast as they can that's what I was trying to say so I think that's that's it I think I don't know I don't know if there's any more things to talk about in this video Okay, so um, I uh, I kind of found one more thing to talk about. Um, it's a collaboration, or actually two, you can say. So um, if you guys will remember, um, me and Aiden were planning a collaboration for um, for a not too well known series called Towers in Ohio. Like Towers in Ohio episode five was supposed to be, you know, a collaboration like. Um, me and Aiden would be talking about the towers in the video, um, and, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, the video would actually be uploaded to his channel, uh, because, uh, one big factor, uh, one, the big factor being, uh, how my phone, for some reason, won't, al it won't allow me to record, uh, it won't allow me, it won't allow me to screen record anybody's calls, so, um, if I'm calling somebody on the phone, or if I'm in a if I'm in a Discord VC, or any sort of form of call, chat, whatever you know, like um, all the audio, like everybody's voices and stuff, um, well, at least people's voices, they won't be they won't be um, they won't be recorded and saved, you know, um, for privacy reasons, I, I guess. Though. So, other audios like just normal sound from like videos and all that crap um, um i'm able to uh, record that crap you know but that's kind of useless but i did hear that aiden aiden is able to screen record all audios including um calls and crap like that something that i wish i could do um so yeah um that's i think that might be the reason why he was going to, uh, you know, just post it on his channel. I'm pretty sure you need a, you actually need a mic, and a mic is something I don't have. And Aiden has a headset with a mic, or at least he used to. So um, you know, they broke. So uh, yeah, um, they they broke. So that kind of just uh, the um, the um, it just you know it screwed up everything. It screwed up our collaboration plans. But, um, I, I believe he might have a new mic. I, 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 I'm pretty sure he said that his mic was fixed or something like that. I think, maybe, I, I don't know. Just, I might be misremembering something. But, uh, I think it might be fixed, so we might finally have a collaboration. It might be for, um, Towers in Ohio, Episode 6. That's pretty appropriate, you know, since he's from Ohio. And then, um, you know, um, I might have another collaboration with 
AJ Jackson. Maybe, I don't know, like, uh, it's just a possibility. Just, uh, you know. If you don't know, AJ Jackson is currently working on this giant series where he'll, uh, he's covering every single, well, I mean, he, he's looking at every single Long Lines Tower in all 50 states. So, uh, yeah, he's going through every single state in alphabetical order. So, um, uh, somebody from Iowa wants to uh, collab with him for the Iowa episode. So, uh, yeah, maybe I can do the same. Um, so maybe I can uh, collab with him for the Missouri episode. But he did say that um, he doesn't want too many collaborations. Like, he, he doesn't want everybody left and right being like, I want to collaborate with you. I want to collaborate with you. So yeah, like um, if that annoys him, then I um I won't. So uh, yeah, but I think uh, collaboration with AJ Jackson would be cool since uh, like he, um, he's uh when it comes to long lines knowledge, uh, he's the smartest guy that I know of for long lines knowledge and stuff. That's his thing. Like that's uh that's his own, but um that's not set in, that's not set in stone yet. So uh you know um. There's that. Um, that's just uh, the last of everything, I guess. So, um, can't really think of anything else in the, for for this video. So, I guess. Uh, uh, well, I should tell you this now. Um, if we do go to Nevada, down to Las Vegas and stuff, um, I have a feeling that it might not be a big arc. I don't know. Just um, I did overhear my uh, my parents saying that they want to be very very quick uh, when we're down there probably because of school and stuff like um they don't want to spend as many days as we did like back in uh back in um california you know so we might just spend maybe two or three days and stuff like they want to be fast so um, that will um greatly limit the vi the um the number of videos I can make down there. So, uh, you know how, you know, you know the rules of big arcs. In order for a big arc to be a bit, to become a big arc, you have, the big arc, the arc needs to be either 100 videos or longer. Anything under 100 videos is not a big arc. So, uh, yeah, like, if I don't make the, the mark, then it won't be a big arc. Like, you know, just... That'll be very disappointing, but that's just uh, how that's how the rules are, you know. I had that set in place because, um, like, um, really, like the bigger arcs, like um, medium-sized Weber arcs, like um, um, the Saint, the the latest St. Louis arc, like that's uh, has fit, fifty-six videos. Like um, people could start calling those big arcs and stuff, and I don't want that, you know. Um, so, uh, I set this 100, um, 100, 100 video requirement in place, so, uh, that won't happen. It's very effective, but very painful, um, because, um, it hasn't happened to me yet, but if there's a, if there's a, if we do have an arc that's like, you know, out of state and stuff, like, um, if I don't reach the, the 100 goal, then that that's not a big arc, you know. It's not a big arc. So, uh, yeah, like, that could be painful, you know. Just like, this could have been a big arc, but it's not. So, uh, yeah, like, there's that. Alright, so, um, I squeeze everything dry here. Like, uh, there's nothing else. So, uh, see y'all later. Bye. You are watching Big Bunker Boy News. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, would you look at that? I finally found the intro and outro because it's both, you know. And it's been right in my, it's been right there. Just, it was in plain sight this entire time. But I thought the thumbnail would actually be the logo of this but it's not it's actually the ending so that's why i thought i lost it stupid stupid lt time